Welcome back, everybody, to the Random Stuff Garage. Uh, today, what I'll be doing is um, unboxing some gun ho. And uh, as you can see, I have a couple different versions here. Um, the one on the left here, um, that's the classic version that uh, that I just picked up from. Uh, they just had a restock on Hasbro Pulse, so I went ahead and grabbed one of those. Um, and before that was a thing, I got the, the, uh, or original classified, uh, version. What I'm going to try and do with some help from, uh, Valiverse here is to kind of hit a happy medium. I know this is kind of the preferred, most popular classic version, um, but it's a little too turquoise for me. Um, I, I kind of appreciate what Hasbro's done with the newer version here. It's a little darker green, a little bit more practical. Uh, makes a little bit more sense to me instead of running around wherever he would be trying to blend into that neon. Uh, well, not quite neon. This isn't a, a 90s Joe, but maybe it could be. Anyway, uh, here I go rambling again. Um, anyway, what I'm going to try and do is kind of make a nice happy mixture of the two so let's just get right into it um i won't go too crazy here on this uh i do like the fact that they put his file card on there oops sorry for the glare um that's kind of neat and this is nice too how they have the rest of them um they are missing a couple maybe three how many were in this line i can't remember anyway um i've got Two more of these on the way, none of which are pictured here. So there's your hint. Um, and I'll definitely do a review for those two as soon as they come in. One of them is being plagued by constant uh, delays. So don't know what's going on there. Anyway, um, if you want to read this file card in all kinds of different languages, um, something like that. Anyway, yeah, if you want to read it, go ahead, pause it right there, and... Let's uh, pop them open. Um, my card is torn anyway. Uh, ordinarily, what I would try to do is if I, if I got a, a, a figure like this and it had a great um, card, and, you know, there are collectors that are mint on card collectors, and it's hard to find a good non-wrecked card. I'm sure there's probably plenty that have arrived in way worse shape than this. But since it did arrive just like that, uh, I'm not going to try and help anybody by trading this for a more damaged one. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, my eyes. Yeah, if, if you're a mint on card collector, sorry about that. You already know, by, by now you should know on my channel, I open stuff. It's just how I roll. Cool stand. I wish they'd do that <laughs> more often. Um, which way is the... Oh, is it this way? That doesn't look right, does it? That's got to be this way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's even got where they should have put a name. <laughs> they probably thought it cheaper to just not. Yeah, it definitely goes that way. Cool stand. Yeah, it's, it's uh, kind of a shame they didn't do that on all of Classified. Anyway, let's get this guy out here. I don't know if I should have done this chronological and opened this one first. Uh, we're just doing it live here. Um, accessories. Oh, are in there. Um, need some help from the assistant. There we go. It's close, but it's not exactly, um, Marine. Oh, happy belated birthday to, uh, all my Marine brothers out there. I was Navy. Uh, go ahead and make fun of me now. But, um, you know, we all know what, uh, Marine stands for, right? Anyway, but happy belated birthday. To all the Marines out there, uh, Semper Fidelis and all that good stuff. But um, 
I wish that was like an actual K bar. You know? Could have given the Marines K bar. The second go. You know? Oh well. Maybe I'll um hmm. Is there a K bar out there in one twelve scale somewhere? Anyone help me out in the comments? Maybe. That'd be nice. Uh, and the second time around, they did get the, the cover. They got the eight point down there. So that's right. They got the shape right. Um, if you haven't heard, they didn't get the Marine Corps logo because I guess it's trademarked or copyrighted or however that works. So Hasbro couldn't use it. So they just did like this approximation of like an eagle on something. <laughs> Um, it's not bad, but, uh, I prefer the Valiverse with nothing on it. So you can just go ahead and get some water slide decals, which I intend to do. Oh, speaking of, if you didn't see my last video where I used Bad Mother Tattoo water slide decals on the, the Punisher that I made, <clears throat> just a quick little plug here for myself. If you haven't checked that out, uh, I made a improved, in, uh, well, articulation-wise, um, John Bernthal MCU Punisher by using Bad Mother Tattoos water slide decals on a Valiverse Special Ops, Special Ops uh, Trooper body. And uh, Bernthal's head pretty much popped right on, man. It's, it's nice and tight, you know. It's good. Um, I still got to put some matte clear on it. It's still pretty shiny. Anyway, Bad Mother Tattoos, man. Check them out. Um, pretty sure they have the correct tattoo here. Um, I'm just going to take that off with uh, nail polish remover, I think, is probably the best method. Use it sparingly, and it should just come right off. Uh, wet it down with water so it doesn't melt the plastic afterwards. Um, maybe I'll do that on the next video here, uh, after I order the tattoos, anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same figure, just different colors. Um, let's see, does mine suffer from gummy leg? It's a little tight. Is it going to stress the... Ooh, yeah. It's definitely stressing it already. So, we're not going to go nuts on that. <laughs> uh, a lot of people are having problems with... Uh, what figure was that that just shipped that everyone's having problems with? Gummy legs. Uh, Tiger Force Outback. And it looks like my gung-ho is suffering from the same. A little bit of a stress mark in there. Not too bad. Um... It's just a bummer that it's not, I don't know, maybe a, maybe a warm bath will help him out. Um, anyway, let's, let's get back to what we're doing here. Get some more accessories here. That is, um, different backpack from the initial release. Uh, classified sidearm here looks like a pistol of some sort. Um, it's not a nerf. That's cool. Um, and then they got this thing. Um, I don't know. Well, I don't know which... Hmm. <laughs> That's like nothing I've ever seen. However, I haven't seen everything. But I, I really don't think that's a decent detail on it. I mean, the strap is actually green. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It's actually a real dark green. Not bad. If it were something real, I would be impressed. Pretty cool. But I probably won't use it. Um, let's get into this guy here. Oh, uh, I was open from the bottom here. Yeah, I picked him up for... Remember that price? Hey, that's how long ago I got this. It wasn't on sale yet. It wasn't quite peg warming. Only three bucks for a figure was reasonable. Put that back over there too. It's not K-Bar. 
Apologize in advance for the crinkling that's about to happen. Try to reduce it. it. Whoa. It's the same head, but they obviously shaved that off, whatever that is. What? It's like a failed Chia pet. Man. What are they doing? See, that, that moves great. Whoa, that's a hard click. Sounds like my knees. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, he's he's good to go, man. He's nice and limber. He doesn't need a bath or anything. He's like ready to go. Cool. You know what? I think I'm going to use this one. Well, you'll see. Let's get everything out. We'll get going on this. This thing out. That's kind of a neat. Oh, yeah. I kind of like that bag, too. Now, here's where it gets weird. Uh, I think these are going to go with, like, my Cobra stuff, because that looks like some Mars. Not of this Earth. What in the heck is that? <sighs> yeah. That's going in the not-equipped pile. That could have been a really cool shotgun. Right? But now it's like this warped... Look at that. That's why I equip my stuff with Valiverse weapon packs, Mark II design weapon packs, this stuff. Gummy, gummy, gummy. And just nerf is all hell. What? It doesn't even have a barrel. Like, what is that? What is that? If you pointed that at me, I'd say, what are you going to do? Shave me to death? What is this? Hasbro, man. I don't even recognize that. I guess there's a nerf that kind of looks like that. That's what everyone uses for the Halo customs, I think. Hey, yeah, Halo guys, man. Hit me up. <laughs> if you if you got McFarlane Halo figures or whatever, who whoever makes them nowadays, if you, if you want, go ahead. Uh, hit me up in the comments if you want. And that one for free, man. I don't want it. Um, and then it's cut. Way, way, way different. Here, it's kind of side by side. There's no, there is no eight point. That's almost like an army. I don't know what era, but it looks way more army, or really old school marine. I don't know, but that's that's what I know. That is way different. So what I'm tempted to do is just. I mean, I'm 70% there right now. Okay. Guess what else I'm going to do? That's where Valiverse comes in. And let's see, that was there. Oh, I'm going to use this too for his sidearm. Good old 1911, parkerized with wood grips. Nice. All right. So, I'm going to crack this open for the first time ever. What do we got here? We got a vest, backpack, another cover. Uh, we got a uh, weapon holster, side pouch, belt, some bang bang effects, and a drum fed uh, 40 mil launcher. Oh, look, another 1911. Cool. So, maybe I won't. I don't know. Should I use a Parkerize? Uh, maybe I'll save that for something. That came from. Uh, Karak, by the way. Bobby, give us more 1911s, man. You know you like them. We know you like them. Gimme, gimme. Oh, yeah. Here we go. That's the stuff, man. So Hasbro, I know what they were going for when they did this. They were going for this. But uh, we know who did it better, right? And we got more bang bang effects, and uh, we got this all black. Yeah, I'll probably use this. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I have an all black one. Nice. I like it. 
That's what I would carry. Well, maybe Parker Eyes with good grips. Pretty cool too. If you're old school, like. Yeah, Bobby, when are you going to give us like a like a modern 1911, man? You talk about your timber and all this stuff. Give us that in the line, man. You know, the modern 1911s are awesome. Yeah, I know they still got magazine limitations, but you can't have your cake and eat it too. Maybe you should. Okay, so we got some stuff. We got a vest here. We got a belt. I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. Nice detail though. Look at that. Got paint on the buckle. Focus. Paint on the buckle and everything. Okay. And let's, let's try to keep things organized here. There we go. There's that. Got a bright green cover compared to what came with Slaughter. Slightly not as bright. Slightly less bright. I know how to English. Yeah. Slaughter. Uh, declassified. Don't know. I, I would have to go with... I don't know. Neither? <laughs> um, yeah, I'd probably go with the gung-ho. Yeah. See how that fits here in a minute. And I don't know if I'm going to use these. Kind of like... Well, you definitely need this holster, right? Because it is... Like, Hasbro gave him this one, but it's so bright, man. Like, I suppose I could drop it in some writ dye and darken it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll revisit this after uh, going ham on fixing everything up. But um, I just kind of wanted to get an idea of what I wanted to do here. And I think even that's not too bad. I mean, it doesn't. I don't know. Let's just see what I come up with here. I'm going to take this off because that's kind of weird. Don't need it. This thing too. Don't know what this is. I'm going to have to take his hand off. Hopefully that happens easy enough without breaking it. It's gone out. There we go. Yeah, not too bad. Sorry I bumped into you. So that's going to come off there. Nothing's going back on. Just gonna without cracking the peg in half. Ease it back on in there. There we go. Yes. Well, I should have taken his vest off while I had his hand. I guess it doesn't matter. Alright. This is not. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to take that off. Probably on the other one, too. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll use one of these for more customs. Maybe a thug or a dreadnought or something. Who knows? Come on, get in there. I don't know, man. That's pretty bright also. It's like blue. Yeah? I don't know. Am I doing this wrong? I feel like I'm doing this wrong. On camera, acting a fool. What am I not, though? There we go. Jeez, man. Act like you've dressed some dolls before. Lord, help me! What? You need it on the bridge, sir. Knock on my door! Knock next time! Yes, sir. Did you see anything? No, sir. I didn't see you playing with your dolls again. Good! We've all done it. If you're watching this channel, you've done it. I had the 90s. Remember the 90s 12-inch Joes, the Hall of Fame? Those were awesome. I had uh, Snake Eyes, the, like the blue one, right? With the goggles. Oh, there. Jesus. Okay. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I might throw that in some red dye, too. <laughs> I might just darken the turquoise one now. I don't know. What's going on here? Hmm. Hmm. Which, which cover? 
What do you think? Left to right, A, B, or C? What do you think? That one's definitely out. I don't like it. I uh, kind of like the darker color. But, okay, here's what it's going to come down to. It's going to come down to fit. Does it fit? I mean, if I really crank it down, sort of. God, man, it just looks goofy. I mean, it doesn't look bad on camera, but if you're, if, how I'm looking at it here, I'm looking at the space between its ear and, and the, the band of the cover. And it really only looks bad on one side. What about the head, too? I don't know. I kind of like the handlebars, man. <laughs> handlebars or mustache? Let's check it out. Let's, let's, do, let's do a basic swap. A real easy head swap without damaging the barbell. Will it, will it happen? Will it, will it let me? <sighs> Pretty violent, but yes. Put Chuck Liddell's head down there. And put the real Cajun head on the... Oh, good. They are the same size ball. That one came off way easier. Okay. Uh, I like it better already. <laughs> yep. He kind of looks like the... Uh, what is the, the giant German dude that Indiana Jones fought in front of the plane? You know what I mean? The one that he fed to the prop. Okay. It fit down a little lower, too. I don't know if it's... When I was playing tricks, like, the, is it the mustache? I don't know. Is that flesh tone different? His face does not match the rest of his... Oh, man, Hasbro. He did that on purpose. Dang. All right. Let's put Chuck Liddell back on here. I'm just saying what everyone's thinking. <clears throat> There. And it is an old disc style. It's not the barbell style I thought it was. Um, do they still have the posable neck? Not really. I also remember, like, that was Duke, I think. I don't know about this one, man. First of all, I need the bath for that gummy leg. Because that's, that's not the ball joint moving. That's, that's twisting that whole... Ooh. Anyway, yeah, I think this guy's just gonna be like random thug number six or whatever. I think this is gonna be this is gonna be it, man. I'll fix the tattoo. I like the gloves. Um Yeah, I'm gonna fix the tattoo here. Oh. What am I gonna do with this? Put it on there. That'd be <laughs> That'd be really weird, like it's just flip-flopped. And then what do I do with this? I'll figure it out. But, um, yeah, so I think it's going to be the Valiverse vest, cover, um, hmm. <laughs> jeez, I don't know. The, the blue, it's, yeah, it's more blue than turquoise on this one. But it's all right. We're back. Uh, ran out of space on my phone again. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll probably throw some of these pieces in some writ dye, darken them up. Uh, I'll get the proper tattoo from uh, Bad Mother Tattoos. And one more thing, one more thing. Needed some help from one more guy here. Had to call in favor from Arnie what the heck uh, what's going on here some sort of some sort of crossover oh he's missing yeah it's because I used the rest of him elsewhere cuz oh man have I got a good idea for you guys because if you really want to take it back old school you need yourself the bloop gun Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. And it's perfectly the same size. Um, if you have been subscribed to my channel for quite some time, you remember I did. See, he's even got ammunition, dude. What? 
Um, you remember that I did a review of the original classified, not the classic, or the hip, what are they, heavy artillery? But the original version one release of the classified gung-ho, oh, sorry, gung-ho, that's this guy. The original um, classified roadblock came with another ginormous Nerf gun, and I replaced it with um, the uh, Terminator 2 NECA a uh, Gatling gun and looked pretty cool. So I figured, hey, I know somebody that could use the other stuff. So get this stuff on here. I'm going to do this like so. Uh, maybe I should take the head off again. Maybe I should go head first and feed the arm through like a normal human being does. Sheesh. Now I'm acting like I've never gotten dressed before. Is that upside down? I feel like it's upside down. Yeah, it's upside down because the strap is pointing up. All right. Do that over. Do it over. All right. So it would be this way. Anyway. Man, I feel like I'd have to warm up these hands because they are not very flexible to get this bloop gun in there. I'll try my best. You see it struggling down there? I hope I don't snap his thumb off. God, that'd be this, like some horrible 80s flashbacks that would be somehow appropriate. Wiggle, wiggle. Good enough, man. How's that? And then this guy? Sure. Boom. I think we're I'm pretty close to my ideal gun home. Uh, I just would really want to darken up the vest. Maybe the hat. It's getting tighter here. All right, yeah, I think I would tighten, I would tighten, yes, I would tighten the vest. <laughs> it's already way tight. I would darken the vest, um, maybe the cover. I got to do something about, I don't know if I would use this or this holster. I'm not sure which one. I'd probably use this one. I think it would go with the more modernized. This one's kind of basic. And I'd almost rather, I, I, I would almost dye this, maybe try to figure out how to get it more of a brown and use it for the parkerized. And then you got kind of a nice, like, World War II looking classic. It wouldn't have the flap, right? But it would be closer to classic. And that would make more sense for extra rounds, but they look bigger. Are they? Oh, way bigger, man. See if we can get one. Yeah, look at that size difference. Oh, here. Yeah, it's pretty considerate. Anyway, yeah, I'll just I'll keep those. I'll, I'll paint, maybe dry brush some green over them or something. But yeah, man, I think, uh, here, let me get down here. There we go. All right. Yeah, man, so I think, I think um, I'm pretty close here. Yeah, that's that's pretty much my gung ho right there, man. Uh, that's the secret weapon to get yourself. Uh, uh, you can might be able to find them on eBay or something. I know I know that the complete T eight hundred from T two from NECA, these guys are going for like crazy amounts on eBay. If you can find it, um, track it down because you'll get a cool Gatling gun. You'll get the the bloop gun with a bandolier of forty mil. And um, you can enhance your gung ho, whether it be with the original or the the uh, classic. Uh, now complete with uh, the Iceman uh, handlebar haircut. <laughs> yeah, this guy's just gonna be. Um, it's gonna be fodder, man. I unfortunately like wasted money on this now, but that's kind of how I feel anyway. Like I didn't use a single part. I don't think. No, I didn't. I didn't use 
No, not a single thing. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, uh, there it is. Um, I originally did this video kind of a response to uh, uh, Ratface44. Man, this, this video is for you. Uh, I made a comment saying that uh, I'm working on a, a gung-ho of, of my own here soon. And uh, he was really interested in, in seeing what I come up with. I think this is it, man. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll swap out, swap to this vest. I'm not sure. I'd have to dunk both of them in some writ and just darken them up with, I don't know, gray. Maybe just a hint of black just to darken. Because I like the, the core color that's there, but it's just so bright, man. And then, I'm, of course, I've got to get... I'll take the tattoo off of both of them, and I'll put a Bad Mother tattoo probably on this one. And uh, I'm going to stick with this one, man. So just, yeah, head swap. Okay, so yeah, I used the head from the Classic body. Stuck it on the uh, original release version of Classified with the darker green pants. And uh, gave him the, the, the NECA Terminator 2 uh, T800 um, M79 with uh, the 40 millimeter grenade bandolier and a valiverse 1911 pistola and um that's it man sarge is like that right there is one badass marine semper fi this is a uh, random stuff garage uh, i know i rambled a little bit but um this is one of my shortest videos yet so um Get out there and uh, grab you some Valiverse, some, some G.I. Joe Classifieds. Make you a kick-ass gung-ho, man. Yo, Joe.